Hey YouTube, welcome to the uh, fifth video I think of my how to build a uh, how to build a computer series. Sorry for the delay in the uploads. I've been very bu uh, very busy recently with exams and work. Then went on holiday, so uh, so yeah. Um, so in the last video we finished off the RAM. Uh, n so we didn't finish off the RAM. We finished off the ALU and uh, off camera. I uh, just did some tidying up and uh, brought all these all the command lines down to the same down to the same um, same height down here. So it's just the same as before. All the commands are in the same order, except they are just a little bit neatened up with the uh, signs on the side, as these are going to be extended out here. Okay, now that we've got the ALU done, I'm going to finish. I'm going to uh, going to start on the on the RAM. I haven't quite decided how much RAM I'm going to use in uh, in this, but since it's a uh, 4-bit computer, I'll probably need, hmm, I'm not sure, 16 bytes maybe? No, 8 bytes, maybe 8 bytes of RAM. Uh, I'll decide when it comes to the point. But um, if you don't know what RAM is, it's uh, it's random access memory, which is used to store um, data while the program is running. Um, and this is uh, the design of one RAM cell. Um, I do not claim this design. Uh, I learnt it on the RDF build server from Titanic Nut or someone else like that. I can't remember who it was. So uh, I don't claim credit. I don't claim credit for this. Um, th uh, the only bad design I think with this is that the inputs uh, on the top and the outputs on the bottom. Which means we're gonna to have to wire wire those inputs up, which is a bit of a pain. So um if I just get some red wool. So your input would uh, come in here. The uh, the write command is this line here, and the read command is this line here. So I'll uh, I'll just demonstrate for you. If a uh, if a one is coming through here and I write it to memory, there we go. So it's now uh, now written to memory. Uh, it's not the output, which is this down here, is not displaying anything until I read it, and now the output displays. So yeah, that's basically uh, how that works. And this is um, tileable, which means it can be tiled sideways and forward so yeah I'm just gonna uh, I've already copied it so I'll just move it over there in line with my uh, in line with my LU actually you know what first I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna use the uh, the glowstone to um, build these up so I'll uh, let's get started on this then As always, world edit is going to be incredibly helpful. It's practically impossible to make anything uh, anything big without the use of single player commands or world edit. Another reason for my uh, my inactivity as of late is I'm building a very uh, very big 16-bit computer, which is almost finished. Uh, so that's going to be awesome when that's done. I'll probably do uh, one or two show off videos, maybe do a default program on it or something like that. That should be tall enough, I'm just going to go and check. So yeah, that should be finished, uh, the 60 bit computer should be finished mm, quite quite soon I think. Not too much to go, maybe another week or so. Uh, so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 blocks high, which is the time today. Let's see if this is high enough. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oops. Oh, brilliant. Start again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Oh, and again. Gosh. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, that's 12, 13, 14, I'll do it one more just in case. And now hopefully the redstone will reach this high. Let's have a look. Please reach. Oh, and it does, that's very fortunate. There we go. Okay, so that's how high it needs to be. It needs to be uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 blocks of glowstone. Now I can just uh, stack this. Like so. Whoa, gosh, sorry. My, uh, my mouse spazzed out then. Now I've got that selected. Stack four. And there we go. Okay, now I need to go and uh, reselect my RAM cell. Actually, it's, uh, I'm just going to write zero to it again. Just so that uh, when I uh, when I uh, stack it, it will be uh, stacked correctly. Um, okay. Select. Ooh, I'm probably going to put a schematic in the description for this, so uh, you can download that because it's uh, it's quite complicated to build. It'll just take time if I uh, if I show you how to build it. So that will be in the description. You can also find these on the internet, but um, yeah, you need to talk to someone good at Redstone to uh, to see how this is built. Okay, got that selected. Um, yep, copy from here. Oops, I uh, stacked this uh, too many times. I'll delete that in a minute. You only need to stack it three times because it's uh, only a 4-bit computer. Well, will be a 4-bit computer. There we go. That's stacked very nicely indeed. Okay, uh, that's one done, so now we can uh, stack this side, uh, tile this, sorry, stacking is up, tiling is across, tile this, uh, tile this sideways, so if I, uh, actually no, I'll just paste it a few times, save me trouble, paste, uh, bother, so many of those today. Okay, so as you can see, that's a half byte of memory, which is actually called a word in, uh, in computer terms. So that's technically, a, I think, a word of memory. But yeah, uh, that's half a byte of memory. So if I um, if I have eight of these, that'll be four bytes. Sixteen of these, that will be eight bytes. Hmm. Okay. Now I'll uh, I'll do sixteen. 16. Actually, no. It's only a small computer. I'll just do a. I'll just stack this eight. Uh, tile this eight times. Just. Select these like so. I think that should be okay. And stack seven. Mm hmm that seems to have worked so that's eight different locations of four of uh, uh, four bits of RAM so that's like one location here another location another location another location and this will all be addressed oops 
um, using a binary to decimal decoder. Hmm. Yeah, that'll about do for the RAM. Okay. I'll uh, I'll just extend the outputs, and I think that will. Actually, I just need to check that they reach first. Um. Okay. That doesn't quite reach, and that one needs to be un. Uh, okay. You'll need to add uh, add repeaters. That's pain. Uh, I'll just have to stack this. Stack three. Okay. Now I've got repeaters on these. And that should be fine. Okay, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe.